drama as five seven lawmakers in Cross River State on Saturday allegedly dumped the All Progressive Congress ABC and returned to People's Democratic Party PDP after their initial defection alongside with the executive governor of the state Ben Ayadi. Though at the time of filing this report, the names of the defecting lawmakers are still sketchy, but sources familiar with political events in the state said the news is true. Meanwhile, in another landmark judgment, the Supreme Court of Nigeria sacked Honorable Ife, Ife Dayo Abegunde, who is representing Akure South North at the Federal House of Representatives for cross carpeting to all Progressive Congress. The lawmakers who reportedly won his election under the platform of Labour defected to All Progressive Congress APC in Ondo State. This is coming after the executive governor of Eboi State, Dave Umayu, his deputy and other lawmakers at the State House of Assembly who defected from People's Democratic Party to All Progressive Congress were also sacked by the courts under the lordship of Justice E. Yang. Echo. <laughs> Why are they running? Really? I think uh, if this whole thing can be, if they can uphold this thing, just like uh, Wiki said that they are going to pursue this matter to the Supreme Court, of course, the governor of the state, who happens to be Governor Humayi, has already appealed the judgment. Say, I no go agree, oh. I no go agree. Of course, he said that the judgment was bought. Later, he apologized, but he said, like lie that it goes nowhere so if this matter can review can be handled to the to logical conclusion and we get the right to know that they are going to manipulate it because the tendency to manipulate the whole thing is there now naturally if you look at the situation you will say that the judgment is okay whether this will teach all of those who are jumping from pillar to post, it will teach them lesson. But one thing I have come to realize about Nigerian politicians is that they are so optimistic, even in the face of failures, they are so optimistic and they don't give they don't give they don't give up. They don't give up at all. COVID has made me to know that these people they don't give give up. Despite the fact that everybody was afraid because of COVID and all of that. Do you know that these guys they started their corruption? Even with the COVID, they started their corruption there. So what else can really change them? If they see some of their colleagues who have gone, you know, who have entered or gone into a uh, problem, it does not even teach them lesson. Who have made mistakes in the past. It doesn't, they don't even learn from it because they always believe that hey, that politician might not be as smart as them, that they know how to go about it. They always look for loopholes, look for ways to manipulate the system if not these guys they will look for another alternative and that's why you are hearing see all of them here uh, running papa 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 pa. and to make a matter worse the apc2 has already sued some of the governors who defect from apc to pdp though they have not told us a uh, we've not even seen any tangible reason why they should do that because with the case of a homai what the judgment says or what the judge said was that you cannot win under one platform and go to another platform and transfer the votes or whatever you got in that particular uh, party to another party but in the case of a governor of a do state and uh when we say that they are accusing those ones they decamped from apc and they had to contest under pdp so they are two different things so that's why i'm saying i don't even know the basis at which they are suing them or you just just hear that uh, people defeated and you just begin to sue or oh, i don't i don't understand because there's no concrete evidence or con concrete reason why they should tell us that uh, these guys need to be sued but in all these guys are all of them are playing their own card their own interest and selfish interest card that will favor them at the end of the day all of this defection is not all about the developments or movements or good uh, of the people it's not for the good of the people it's for their own personal interest and that is why we can't even get it right and a lot of people have really given up they've given up given up hope that uh, nothing will ever change because just like i said these politicians they will never change i have never seen anything that will change them even in the midst of death 
they will never change. They won't change. And that is why you see that some people say, okay, if I cannot beat them, I join them. You begin to take sides. Oh, let me follow this one. Let me follow this one. Maybe something will come out from this one. Even when they know that uh, invariably it's 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 it's, it's not a uh, yastic. It's not a yastic that uh, they will get anything from them. But they just believe that since I cannot beat them, I just have to join them. Not everybody. Yeah, not everybody. So that is the reason why we are seeing all these people defecting. That initial fear is what is gripping these people. Before you will see Jack Robbins again, they will come back. They will definitely come back because I see no reason why they are running tika 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 tika. They are seeing the handwriting on the wall, but like a lot of Nigerians have been praying that if this thing can be sustained, it will teach them. Maybe, maybe it will, maybe it will teach them because you cannot be too sure. Because these politicians are just like uh, people who are evilly minded, evil minded. Those who are evil minded, you see a lot of things happening in Nigeria now. Like we've always said, we've always said, you cannot be careful enough because as you are looking at one direction, that oh, this is the area at which uh, these uh, evil people are going about trying to uh, smart people. Before you are, as you are looking at this direction, they are coming from another direction. That is exactly what these politicians do. They will always be looking for ways to just manipulate, looking for ways to manipulate. And if you have that kind of system, you go nowhere. Now, until after the judgment of uh, Umaye, his removal is being concluded, before we know what and what to do. But with the way it is now that the man has already appealed the case, you see that you see a lot of manipulations because at the end of the day, unless maybe <laughs> there's something that uh, we really need to learn from this whole thing. If not, they will manipulate it and it will come back. And so all these ones that are running, all these uh, lawmakers that are running, tika tika now, they will still, you see them running back again because no ideology, nothing to cross-check them, nothing to checkmate them. Anywhere belief face. And I, how do you expect such a society to move forward? We can never move forward. We know the right thing to do, but we are afraid to do it. And believe you me, nothing is going to work. Nothing will work. Jumping from here to here. If they can be de uh, de dealt with, it would have been a different thing. But there's no hope. There's no hope that what Nigerians want is what they will get. There's no hope. Honestly. Honestly. Even those who have come out to say forcefully we want to get things right. We want to get things done. Before you could say Jack Robinson, they will clear them off. So, and that will send fear to the rest of the people. So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.